In this video, we will discuss what it means to have sufficient evidence or insufficient evidence. So, if you always think about the basic problem of a person is innocent until proven guilty, our null hypothesis is that a person is innocent, and our alternative hypothesis is that a person is guilty. So, in order for us to convict a person, the prosecution has to get enough evidence. They have to have eyewitness testimony. They have to have DNA. They have to have enough proof so that the jury will come back to say that we believe that this person is guilty. So, if the prosecution does this, then they have sufficient evidence. They have enough evidence. They have statistically significant amount of information to say that this person is guilty. If the prosecution does not have enough evidence, then we will find them not guilty, which for us means that we would fail to reject the null hypothesis. Do you see how this interpretation is always based on the alternative hypothesis? We either reject the null and we say that we have enough evidence to say the person is guilty, or we fail to reject the null, we do not have enough evidence to say that they are guilty. So, whenever you're interpreting the results, if you reject the null hypothesis, you reject the null that the person is innocent, that means there is sufficient evidence to conclude that the person is guilty, or there is enough evidence to say the person is guilty, or it can say statistically significant or statistically significantly enough information is provided to reject. If it is not, then we fail to reject, which means there is not sufficient evidence. The prosecution did not give enough evidence to say that the person is guilty, or there's not enough evidence or statistically insignificant, meaning not significant. 